This is the Talent, Sales, and Scale Show. Yeah, differentiators, obviously you can get at the big things that Brian, that we would talk about, such as speed, could be affordability or cost or investment point. Um, Things that also differentiate you that are often overlooked though is like your approach. So if you have a very interesting proven approach, you have a, a playbook that you deliver. Maybe there's this particular outcome that they get that's very different between you and the competition. See, that's something that's very tangible. Someone's like, oh, I love that. Maybe you have a total different proven process that you actually take people through that ensures you get the right outcomes. That is a differentiator. I want you to think beyond just like speed to market or speed of, of, of the process and maybe affordability and actually inefficiency and actually look at your approach. Often that's where there's some different differentiators that pop up that are really interesting that you can pull through. Yeah. So if you can identify an, as a differentiator, how you reduce risk, how do you increase um, the time of that strategic initiative being solved yeah. and, or how do you improve that, that customer journey? If you can couch it in terms of those, as opposed to save you time and money, you're going to be way better ahead. I think so too. I think also just recognize like, listen, if everybody else is saying that, does that really differentiate you? Our team is so amazing. So is everybody's team. Yeah. Now that being said, if your team has a whole buttload of certifications, excuse my language, and they're like above the rest, show it, show me. Yeah. Cause here's what nobody's, yeah. Here's what nobody out there is doing. They're they're not going, Hey, you know what? Uh, We're the cheapest out there because that's the only way we can schlep this crap. Right. No one's saying that. So you really have to make sure that you're doing and showing that you are different. 